After three years of extra development and patches, the finished Cyberpunk 2077 is getting a physical release. This being Cyberpunk 2077 Ultimate Edition, including Update 2.0 and the Phantom Liberty DLC, arguably one of the greatest expansions of all time. And this will be available physically and digitally. We'll be going through absolutely everything you need to know about this in today's video. But just before we get into all of that, I want to talk about today's sponsor, Instant Gaming. Now, Instant Gaming is a fantastic website where you can get games for really cheap prices. You can get the likes of Cyberpunk 2077 at a really heavy discount. And when this Ultimate Edition does release, you'll be able to get this on Instant Gaming for a much cheaper price than anywhere else as well. So be sure to use the link in the description next time you want to purchase a game, a gift card, or anything really for yourself or even for a friend. You can get yourself really good discounts and you're literally just saving money for just, there's no, you know, there's no downside to it. There's literally no downside at all. You're just saving money. That's the best way to put it. And you can get, of course, some great games like the new and improved Cyberpunk 2077. So definitely be sure to check it out using the link in the description. And I'm also running a giveaway through it where anyone that buys anything, literally anything off of Instant Gaming, using the link in the description below by the end of the year, you'll be entered into a giveaway to win a free Instant Gaming gift card. So you could literally buy anything, no matter the value, you'll be entered into that giveaway for the chance to win a free Instant Gaming gift card if you use that link in the description below. Anyways, getting back into the video. Now, any of you that are, you know, have been here a long time, well, remember, I did a video actually ages ago talking about a Cyberpunk 2077 Game of the Year edition. In fact, that might have been about a year ago now. And that video basically went over the possibility of after the release of the Phantom Liberty DLC for Cyberpunk, we would get a maybe Game of the Year edition, what like we got with The Witcher 3, which is basically... It's literally just a complete edition of the game, but just with a cooler, fancier, more impressive name. But we didn't get that at that point. But um, Phantom Liberty didn't actually release at that. It wasn't actually out yet, so obviously we weren't going to get it then. But now that Phantom Liberty has been out for a while, it's been very successful. And we've actually sort of reached the end of Cyberpunk 2077 in terms of new content. Of course, we'll still get a couple patches, but generally the game is complete. That's why we've now got this Ultimate Edition. So... This Ultimate Edition basically is what I was talking about in that previous video, all that, you know, all those months ago. And basically, yeah, it's just, it is that what I've considered, I'll call it a Game of the Year Edition, and it is basically a complete edition. So the Ultimate Edition is the base game, along with all the DLCs and, of course, all the latest patches and everything like that. And I'll read through what CD Projekt Red have said about this. In just two weeks, CD Projekt Red will release Cyberpunk 2077 Ultimate Edition for Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 5, and PC. The game brings the full story of Merc named V, combining Cyberpunk 2077 and its spy thriller expansion Phantom Liberty, as well as every update to them ever released, and will be available digitally and physically in select markets starting December 5th. Cyberpunk 2077 Ultimate Edition combines every story of the dark future in one ultimate package, featuring the talents of Keanu Reeves as Johnny Silverhand and Idris Elba as Solomon Reed. The game will be available to purchase digitally and as a physical box, marking the first physical edition of Cyberpunk 2077 for next generation consoles. Cyberpunk 2077 Ultimate Edition releases December 5th for Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 5 and at PC. And it's Cyberpunk 2077 Ultimate Edition is an open world RPG containing two powerful adventures. The base game of Cyberpunk 2077 taking place in the dark future of Night City and Phantom Liberty, a spy thriller story set in the wild off districts of Dogtown. Players take on the role of V, a cyber enhanced mercenary and embark on a fight for survival filled with story defying decisions, action packed gameplay and unforgettable characters including rocker boy Johnny Silverhands played by Keanu Reeves and FIA sleeper A agent Solomon Reed, played by Idris Elba. The new release is the perfect way to experience every story of the dark future. It also contains the free update 2.0, which overhauled many of the game's systems, introducing dynamic skill trees, high octane vehicle combat, and enhanced enemy police AI, as well as adding new weapons, vehicles, and clothes. 
the release is bolstered with a set of previously released digital goodies available as part of the My Rewards program available to all who register. Cyberpunk 2077 Ultimate Edition will be available for purchase digitally on December 5th. The physical version's release is planned to start on December 5th as well in select markets through local distributors. And there we go. Yeah, that's everything they've said about it. Obviously, just, you know, <laughs> advertising really Cyberpunk as a whole. And um, yeah, now... Would I recommend getting this Ultimate Edition? Yeah, if you don't have the game yet on any of the, the next-gen consoles or PC, it won't be on the old-gen consoles, of course, since the Phantom Liberty DLC didn't release there. But if you have got the game on one of the new Xboxes, the PlayStation 5 or PC, and you've not actually, boy, if you've not got the game, then obviously it makes sense maybe just to wait till the 5th of December and get this Ultimate Edition. But obviously, if you want to play it now, there's not really much difference between just buying the DLC separately in the base game now between buying the Ultimate Edition, to be honest. But of course, if you are on a next-gen console or on PC, but I'm not sure if PC will get a physical edition or not, since it tends not to, but it might do for this. Sometimes games do on PC. But if you are on one of the platforms and you want to have a physical copy of the game, then of course it's worth waiting till December 5th. And um, yeah, since at the moment there isn't actually a physical edition of the game for the next-gen consoles, since obviously Cyberpunk 2077 released originally on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Probably shouldn't have, but it did. And um, so yeah, if you were to get a physical edition of Cyberpunk now, you could still get the next-gen version, but the actual disc would be a PlayStation 4 or Xbox One disc. But when you insert it, you do get a free update to the next-gen version. But of course, also that wouldn't include the Phantom Liberty DLC since that's just the standard edition of the game. Whereas this Ultimate Edition will give you a disc. I believe it is just a disc for Cyberpunk 2077 for whatever platform you choose or PC will just be a redemption code if there is a physical copy for that. And then no matter the platform, the Phantom Liberty DLC will just be a code within the, you know, the case of the game that will allow you to, yeah, just a code to redeem the DLC. And then, yeah, the actual disc for the consoles will be for the base game. And obviously, yeah, that'll be a next generation version of the game, not an old generation version since, yeah, like I said, Phantom Liberty isn't available on those consoles. But yeah, look, if you're looking for a good way to play Cyberpunk, then it might be worth waiting for this Ultimate Edition. But obviously, if you want to play it now, you don't need to wait. But then again, if you want a physical copy of the game on a next gen console or possibly PC, then it is 100% worth waiting until December 5th to get this Ultimate Edition. This will be it really for Cyberpunk. This is the best edition we'll probably ever get unless it gets some sort of remaster, I suppose, in the future, maybe for another set of consoles. But yeah, obviously the game is definitely worth picking up now. I would recommend it now. I think the game is good now. It is solid. This is probably how it should have launched, obviously, maybe without the Phantom Liberty DLC. But um, yeah, the DLC is absolutely amazing. One of the best DLCs really of all time, in my opinion, up there with The Witcher 3's DLCs. And um, yeah, the game's 100% playable these days. Obviously, on PC, you do still need a decent PC, but that was always going to be the case anyway. But, you know, the bugs are very limited now. There's, you don't really run into many issues, and especially on next-gen consoles, it's really, really nice. So, um, yeah, look, if you've got an Xbox, you've got a PlayStation 5, or you've got a decent PC, the game is definitely worth picking up now, especially for the prices you can find the base game for these days, especially on instant gaming as well. It's really cheap over there. So may as well go check it out. You know, yeah, it's, it's a good game now. I would recommend it. And that does just about wrap up things here, really. That is the Cyberpunk 2077 Ultimate Edition and absolutely everything you need to know about it and, yeah, when it will release and all the details that we know so far. So, um, yeah, December 5th is the date to look forward to if you are interested in getting Cyberpunk 2077 Ultimate Edition. But, yeah, that does just about wrap up things here. Now, on screen, you are seeing a link to a different video. Hit the link on the screen if you are interested in watching that. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.